Hey guys, we're here getting some wire at the concrete supply place we get our supplies at. <clears throat> got to put it up on the rack today. Usually we got a trailer we put this stuff on, but the trailer is all full of lumber right now. So we'll put it up on the rack and get it secured up there. That's going to go in a garage that we're getting ready to pour tomorrow. So we got the wire mesh we're putting up there. We got these slab bolsters. We're going to compact it. We got some poly we're going to put under it. That's 27, 27 sheets of wire right there. Enough to do about 1,300 square feet. That's how we get our wire loaded, guys. All right, so this is here we are at the job. This is the garage we're getting ready for tomorrow. First thing we'll do is we'll get it compacted. They got it graded out. I don't do the grading, but we're going to run the compactor over it just because it looks a little loose. So we'll get it compacted. We'll shoot our grades, put the poly down, the wire, and we'll have it all ready for tomorrow. All right guys, so this is a pretty typical garage floor prep for us. When someone hires me directly, this is usually the way I do it. On some of my other videos, you've noticed I get hired as a sub and I'm just there to pour and finish the concrete. But when someone hires me directly, then I kind of take care of the prep work also and make sure it's to my liking before I go pour the floor. So, you know, if, if I think the, the dirt needs compacting, we'll run the compactor over it. We get that from MBW. Uh, we want to thank MBW for that, for letting us use that compactor, trying it out and letting you guys know how we think it works. And we think it works great. So I, I highly re recommend that compactor for you guys if you want to check it out. I'll have a link for it down in the description. So we'll get, get the dirt compacted. We'll put the boards up in front of the garage doors. Uh, I'm shooting grades. This garage floor is going to slope two inches from back to front, towards the front. So... I kind of got to get an average of the dirt level and then I want to make sure I got it's supposed to be a four inch thick concrete floor but what we found out was they didn't really slope the dirt too good it actually the dirt actually sloped towards the back of the garage so you know I'm getting I'm putting four inches of concrete over the front and then we'll see how thick the back is going to end up being when I'm all done so what I do is I set the receiver on my grade stick to the level I need it at to give me four inches and I'm marking the concrete wall there so we can snap a chalk line on it you know four inches up above the dirt 
Now this mark here, this is an inch higher than the front by the garage door, so I raised it up an inch here, and I'll raise it up another inch in the back. So now what I'm doing is I'm just checking the level of the dirt back here, and what I do is I, I just measure it like that. You saw me have a tape measure. You can see me drawing a six plus there, so it's a little over six inches thick right there. That's what that's telling me, and I'll go around and I'll shoot a bunch of these and mark them on the dirt, and then I'll try to get an average and this is the, the easiest way I found to do it when the dirt level is not very, not very level. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go about every I don't know seven, eight, nine feet. See the seven inches of concrete there. So I'll put them marks all over the place, and then I'll come up with an average and try to figure my concrete that way. You can see there's a four right there, right behind Darren. So I got four in the front, pretty much for an average. Now they're snapping the chalk lines on the walls, and that's what we'll use to go by for top of concrete, as well as those boards. And we'll get our chalk lines snapped all the way around. So this is this is all part of the floor prep. You can see I got a six over there to the right. I got a five and a half inch behind me. That's how thick the floor is there. So. Uh, and the homeowner is going to buy the extra concrete, so there's no worries there. I don't have to buy the extra concrete. Or otherwise, I'd tell them to, you know, hey, you need more dirt in here, for, so we have four inches everywhere. But I called him up and told him that it's going to take a bunch of extra concrete, and he was okay with it. So we're going to roll with it the way it is. So we're going to get this six mil poly down, and the poly will just help keep any moisture from coming up through the dirt and up through the garage floor. We don't put this down on all of them, but a lot of them we're putting them down on now. If we think there'll ever be a moisture problem, we'll put the poly down. We're just going to get it unfolded. That's a 20 by 100 roll, so that'll cover 2,000 square feet, so there's way more than enough poly there. This was about a, about a 1,300 square foot garage. It was 40 by 28. And then it had that little jog in the back. We'll get all this rolled out. A roll of poly, it cost me about cost me about 75 bucks to buy that roll of poly. You know, and that that's pretty standard for most places, unless you buy it at a, a big box store, then you're gonna be paying about a hundred for it. But if you get it at that supply store like I had in the beginning of the video, they're around 75 bucks. You definitely don't want to waste it, that's for sure. It's pretty expensive. So it opens up to 20 feet, and then whatever width you cut it at, it'll be that width. So this was, we needed these two 20-foot sections here, then we had to cut one little tiny section to, to finish it up. It was a little windy in here this morning, too. The wind was taking the poly and blowing it all over the place, so we had to fight that a little bit, but... Once we started getting, we're going to put some wire mesh to this. Once we started getting the wire mesh on it, it was all right. So Darren's starting to bring in the wire. We're going to put those slab bolsters. Remember you saw those slab bolsters in the back of my truck in the beginning of the video? We're going to lay those down on the poly. There they are right there. And then we'll put the wire on top of them. And those will help keep the wire from just laying on the bottom when we're pouring the concrete. Hey guys, if you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors. Um, all my all my videos, I come out with two videos a week. They're all about concrete flat work kind of stuff, stamp concrete, you know, concrete repair. I even do epoxy floors. But if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go down there, go go ahead down there and hit subscribe. If you're getting any value out of this video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the smash that like button. That'll really help me out with YouTube's algorithm and, and help rank my videos a little better so we can get it out to a lot more people. You can see I'm just laying those every about every four or five feet and just to help keep the wire up. Wire doesn't do any good laying right on the bottom so it's best, it's best if we can keep it up off the bottom a little bit. We'll end up using fiber mesh in the concrete also so it'll have like a double reinforcement in it. Make sure you subscribe so you can come back and watch the video of us pouring and finishing this. We're going to pour it 
and then we'll power trial it and I'll have a video of that to show you guys how we do that stuff too. So this is the, the typical prep work we do for a garage floor, you know, when someone hires me to do it. And, you know, we charge for this, so on top of pouring and finishing the concrete. And if you want to see how we pour and finish garage floors, guys, you know, check out the two videos that are popping up on the screen right here. Go click on one of them. Check them out.